comes with 40s tonight. Many of you may be turning on the heater for the first time this season. We checked in with a technician for some safety tips. Firing up that furnace for the first time after months of inactivity can literally be a shock to your heating system and possibly a shock when you get that first heating bill. With this in mind, Two News caught up with the lead technician at McAfee Heating and Air during a routine checkup at a home on Manor Lane in Washington Township. Chris Bryant says preparation is key in the fall. Probably the biggest thing that I get, uh, we get uh, a number of calls, you know, throughout the winter months where folks, they just call us when malfunctions. And, you know, their thing is, is, well, if it's not broke, don't fix it, which is probably, a, that's a big mistake. Even if it seems like your furnace is working efficiently, ask yourself some basic questions. Are the controls working properly? Are the temperatures set properly? Is it clean? Are there any unusual smells? However, you won't always smell a problem. Bryant recommends having a carbon monoxide detector as well as a smoke detector on each level of your home. The number one thing you can do is check your filter. That can be done without even calling a professional. But a preseason checkup for your system is still recommended. It can save them a lot of money. Um, if, the, if it's not running hot enough, then it uses more gas. Uh, that also leads to lack of comfort. And if you're looking to save some money on your heating bills, we looked into that as well for you today. One way is to use a programmable thermostat. Experts say it can save up to 10% on your utility bill. Also, plug drafty windows and hire a qualified contractor so you don't have to have the work done twice. A good place to start is the Better Business Bureau. We placed a link on WDTN.com under web links.